Hi everyone, uh, this is Irene Sami Shahim. I am an assistant professor in Nile University. I am happy to talk to you today about uh, a very uh, important uh, expression, which is biodegradation of plastics. Uh, there is a major source of confusion um, between the difference between the biodegradability, compostability, and oxodegradability. Although these items are often used interchangeably, however, they don't uh, mean the same word. Confusion regarding common bioplastics, um, terminologies such as these, especially where it concerns the disposal of bioplastic products, can have different consequences. So companies need to understand the distinction between each category in order to accurately and honestly market their products. So when the company is marketing their product, it should uh, say with uh, whether it's compostable or oxo degradable. And the consumers also need to understand these terms in order to make educated purchasing decisions <clears throat> and properly dispose their bioplastic products at the end of the use. So uh, this short video will be talking about the difference between these three terminologies. So um, <clears throat> nearly every material will biodegrade given enough time, but the length of the biodegradation process is highly dependent on the environmental parameters, such as the humidity, temperature, for example, and this claims that this plastic is biodegraded. So I'll walk you through the difference between these three terminologies very quick. So um, here are some facts about biodegradation. Basically, all the materials degrade at different speeds. Uh, degradation is a result of the simultaneous process caused by concurrent phenomena such as natural weathering or the action of microorganisms. So the microorganisms are very important uh, in the biodegradation process. So you need certain chemical structure in the plastic that allow the action of the microorganisms and their enzymes and a proper environment where microorganisms could be present and they don't uh, die. Uh, so um, composting is part of biodegradation. So the compostable plastics are those plastics which have been tested and certified by a third party to adhere to international standards such as the ASTM standards or the English standard for biodegradation in uh, an industrial uh, composting facility environment. So 10% of the solid material will be left at the end of the uh, six months, for example, um, in the form of valuable compost that could be used as um, a fertilizer or a biomass. So these standards ensure that the leftover compost will be free of toxins. So it could be used in uh, gardening or agriculture. Uh, most of the certified compostable materials need um, a certain temperature and amount of time to uh, fully degrade. Uh, so uh, the ASTM standard, which is very common, is the G6400 for plastics. And uh, the, the controlled environment uh, should be um, around uh, 180 days, with 90% of the organic carbon must be converted to the carbon dioxide. Uh, this standard is commonly used when you are uh, selling uh, biodegradable tableware, for example. Uh, they use these standards to uh, make sure that these biodegradable uh, tableware is compostable. The last term is the oxodegradable plastics. Uh, actually, it's a category uh, on itself. It's not related to biodegradation or composting. And they are neither a bioplastic or a biodegradable plastic. It's just a conventional plastic mixed with an additive, which uh, starts biodegradation. They quickly uh, fragment uh, into smaller and smaller pieces called microplastics, but they do not break into the environment uh, without any microorganism. So basically, um, you just blend your normal plastics such as low density polyethylene or uh, polypropylene with a small detergent uh, additive um, into the extrusion process while you are manufacturing your uh, product. This plastic will eventually be digested by microorganisms due to the additive. Um, sometimes they refer to the oxo biodegradable as degradable plastic, but this does not mean it's a biological process to degrade. So, Microorganisms will speed up the degradation process. However, they are not required. The degradation time of the oxodegradable plastics depend on the exposure to sunlight, heat, or microorganisms. If the plastic is used properly, 
it will last four years and it will not degrade before 12 months. Uh, actually, if you put the biodegradable plastics in landfill, they will degrade quickly if oxygen is available. However, they will not release methane. So this is basically how they biodegrade with the uh, reaction of oxygen when they are in the open environment. And this is called the D2W technology. This process um, is ambient when exposed to oxygen in the air and it's accelerated by the UV light. So uh, here you can see the polyethylene where it has uh, carbon and oxygen and hydrogen components. Um, the D2W additive quickly breaks these long chains and they are now free to combine with oxygen and form hydroperoxides. And then the resulting sh short chain hydroperoxide are now available for consumption by microorganisms. 